guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this pink daisy. So let's get started. What I'm going to be using to make today's painting is an 8x10 stretch canvas, a 2 inch flat brush, a 3 fourths an inch angle brush, a half an inch flat brush, and a 3 eighths of an inch angle brush. The colors I'm going to be using to make today's painting are white, a little bit of phthalo blue, some pool blue, and some sunny day, and some apricot, and candy pink. So first we're going to put in the petals and the flowers. We're just going to put in the sketch. So for the middle of the flower, as you can see, I've just done a part of a circle, really. Um, and I'm just going to start off over here with the petals. Just going to go like, just draw. I'm going to turn mine so that way it's easier for me to do it. You can draw it however you like. I have my easel down now, so it's easier. So, just gonna put in petal shapes. So, I only have two, but I'm just going to continue to do this all around, but make sure I have some behind and they're overlapping to make it more realistic. So, I'm going to continue doing that. Oh, also, I'm using a, I forgot to mention this, I'm using a watercolor pencil in the shade peach it's a light pink yeah Now, if drawing isn't your thing, you can print off a reference if you want to, or you can print off what you want to put onto your canvas and you want to paint, and this works for transferring it to paper or to a canvas. So if, let's say you drew it on paper, but you need it on your canvas. What you can do is take the paper and draw all over the back of it, um, not on top of what you drew or whatever you printed, but on the back of it. You're going to draw all over that and you're going to place it where you want it and then you're going to out very hardly outline the front of it. Outline the lines. Um, so that's helpful if drawing isn't your thing or if you just have trouble drawing something.
Alrighty, so now you have the petals sketched in. It's kind of messy on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... I'm going to take this brighter pink. It's just straight pink watercolor pencil. Um, you can, of course, use a regular pencil or chalk. Um, I just... I prefer watercolor pencils. And I'm going to go over the ones that I want to keep for here. <laughs> for as you can see right here, there's a lot and it's pretty messy. <laughs> So I'm going to go in with this one to fix it up. Okay, so now that I fixed that up, um, this is my end sketch. So now we are gonna go in with the background. So I'm gonna take that two inch flat brush and I'm gonna get my paint here and I'm gonna take some phthalo blue on my brush. Bring it, I'm gonna bring it over here so I can mix some pool blue and I'm gonna take some white also and I'm just gonna mix it up. So now that I have the color mixed up, okay, I'm going to add a little bit more white to it because it's still pretty blue. You're going to load it up on your brush. Uh, you don't want a ton. Um, now you can use a smaller brush for this guy, but I'm just going to use a big brush. Uh, we're going to start up here at the top of the canvas. And very roughly go around the petals. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, now you can do the sky first and then draw the petals, but I decided to draw the petals first so I know where they're at and if I messed up, uh, the sky wouldn't be turning purple. Um, So just very roughly going to go around the petals. I'm not going to worry too much about the edges um, for right now. I'm going to go back in and get some more paint. And continue blocking around the petals. Going back in, 
getting some more paint. And it's still just going in. Um, you can use a smaller brush for going around the petals. It's up to you, really. So now, while the paint is still wet, I'm going to take, here, I'm actually going to put this brush, I'm going to put it in the water, rinse it out. Oh, I spilled some. I'll come back to that one in a minute. I'm actually, I'm going to take the three-fourths of an inch over brush and we're gonna make some clouds so i'm gonna go into some white i'm gonna bring it here um i'm gonna take a little bit of the pull blue just a tiny bit because i don't want them to be super white and let's say there's one up here while it's wet you get that nice blended effect um, the, you, there's many different ways of doing clouds. I just like to put some random little shapes in there. Blend it out. Bring it down. Blend. Very right. White right there. And we'll say there's one right there. I'm going to do circular motions for this one. So. bring it closer so you can see just some light circular motions or it's wet um if it's dry they'll be they won't be as blended uh, so then I'll just say that there is one over here there I need a bit more white back in uh, I'll say that one goes behind the flower. I'm gonna come back to this one and just layer it really. Now for clouds you can dab, you can swipe. I like to swipe for some of them, like this one I did. And circle for others. And <laughs> you know, dab for some. I'll have some. Right, I'll have a nice big one right back here. Right there. We'll have one right behind there. Okay, so now that the background's pretty much dry, I'm gonna bring that one into the petal just so it. Um, but the, the petal's gonna cover it up. So, I'm going to rinse my brushes. I got them in the water. Um, I'm going to swoosh them around in it. Um, now, it's good to have a few cups of water because, as you notice, this water turned blue. And when we're doing our flowers, um, when we go in with the pink, if we use the water, it will be, the flowers will start to turn purple. So I'm just taking an old towel, you can use paper towel, rag, cloth, whatever. You want to make sure that it is really clean though, because when paint dries on the brush, it's the brush goes all hard and it's really hard to get it off. You'll have to soak it for a very long time. And then while they're still wet before they dry, I like to reshape them. And then I just set them to dry. So now I'm here.
Um, I use warm water. You don't want super hot water. You don't want freezing cold. I guess, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, but I use warm because it helps get the paint off more. Alrighty, so now we're gonna let the sky dry and then we'll come back and do the flowers. Okay, so now that the sky is dry, we, oh, we're gonna start walking in our flowers. So, well, our flower, not flowers. So I'm gonna be taking that 3 8 of an inch angle brush and coming into our white, trying to get as little blue in it as possible. It's okay if we get some though. This is just a like a base coat, so our colors really pop. Loading that up. Um, this is a fairly small brush. You can use a detail brush for the edges if you want. Um, here, I'm gonna adjust to the view so it's easier. Alrighty. So now, here just to show you up close, basically what I'm going to be doing is going around the edges and doing that. Just filling them in with white and going around the edges because we got a lot of blue on them. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Some more white. I'm going to need to put more white down. Trying to get as little blue in there as possible, but... Yeah, I decided to change the angle so it's easier. Oh, I got a lot of blue. Um, so... I did one. Um, we're just, it looks blue because I have blue on it, but that's, this is just a base. And then we're going to go back over it with straight white in that. But I'm going to do that to all of them now, after I get this blue off my brush. Okay. Dip into some paint. Load it up. Make sure that I have the tip pretty pointy and flat. And I'm just going to continue to block these in. Um, I'm, now it might be better to use a detail brush for the edges, but that will also take longer. So, and that. Uh, so I'm just going to use this flat brush to do it. Just be very careful while I do it. Go back into some... I'm gonna I've been taking it over here. So we got it. And I'm just gonna continue to fill it in and them in. We are just doing the petals right now. We're not going to do the center. Like we're not going to block in the center right now. Just focus on the petals.
Alrighty, so now that we've blocked them all in, it's um, mostly white paint. Oh, I forgot one. I'll go back and do that one. But now we're going to let them dry, and then after that we'll move on to coloring them with the pink and white. So I'll see you when it's dry. Alrighty, so now that they are dry, um, we're going to go in and start putting in the actual colors. So I've got some new white and some of that candy pink. So we're going to start off with the pink. I'm still with that angle brush. And I'm going to dip into that and I'm going to bring some over here. And use some of that white that's already there to slightly lighten it. We don't want it too light. Get into some more of the pink. And we're going to start off with a pebble. We'll start off with this one right here. I'm going to bring it down this way some. We are going to just start at the tip. We're going to come down a little bit more than halfway with it. Come up to the other side. Do the same thing. And then I'm going to go into just straight that for the very tip. Because I want the very tip to be darker. And I want it to be lighter as it goes down. You can do this flower really in any color. Uh, you can do it blue, pink, purple, yellow, green, red. Really any color you want. So making sure the edges are wet, I'm going to go in with some more, I'm just going to go in with some more, bring it down a tiny bit, and then I'm just going to try and get off most of the pink, and it, not all of it though, dip into some white, and then fill in the rest of it with white. And then ombre it. So to blend them together. I'll go back in with some of the pink without rinsing my brush. And drag that down into the white. And just really continue switching until I'm happy with it. Now if you wanted to, so if you want it to be really white, you can always just take a brand new brush. I'm going to, without rinsing it really, just wipe it off. And get some more white. And really just, I want it to be more white at the bottom.
you know, that's... So that's just what we're going to be doing to most of them. Well, most of them, I mean all of them. You can do this however you want. You can have the paint coming up from the bottom or whatever color you used. I just like it at the top. Yeah, so I'm going to do that to the rest of them now.
Alrighty, so now that the petals are done, we're going to let those dry, and then we're going to move on to the center of the flower. So I will see you when the petals are dry. Alrighty, so now that the petals are mostly dry, we're going to go in with that half an inch flat brush, and we're going to go in with Sunny Day and mix it with apricot. So then we're going to load our brush up. And now we're going to come here to my thing and just do a base layer. You can make it go over the petals, or you can make the petals go over it. I want my petals to go over it, so after I put it in, I'm going to go back in and make it so the petals are over top of it. Just to roughly fill it in. So after we finish this up, then, then we make the petals go over top of the center, then I'm, we're going to paint the edges and then we're all done. Go back in, get some more paint. Now if you want it to be textured and really cool, like, you can use a sponge and that would be really cool. That would be super cool. But I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna go into some straight sunny day now without rinsing my brush. Just get some of it. And I'm gonna work that more so on the center. I want it to be lighter in the center. It's not gonna make too much of a difference, but. So I'm, I'm gonna go in with, out rinsing the brush again. Um, I'm gonna go in with straight apricot. Get it on my brush. And really um, just try and go around the edges. in with some sunny day which actually is more of a pale yellow so I don't know why it's called sunny day alrighty so now that we have the center of the flower done, we're going to let it dry and then we're going to go in, make the petals overlap on top of it, and then we're going to paint our edges. Um, I'm going to be painting the edges of mine probably gray, but you can do whatever color. You could do pink, it'll match it, or you can make it some of the petals here. So you can see right here, some of the petals, like, like they go over, you can like do it like that. You can do like it the sky color. Really whatever. I'm probably just gonna do gray though. So uh we'll be back when this is dry. Okay, so it is mostly dry now. It's still a little bit wet but mm, it's good around the edges. So I'm gonna go back in with 
our white and pink. I'm gonna do really light though. It's gonna be just this really light bit here. Um, if some of them are darker at the bottom, use darker. It really just depends on your petals. But, um, I'm just going to take the edge of the angle brush. Um, here, let me show you. I'm just using the very, the very tip, the very tip of the angle part. And just making them, making the petals overlap it. Go back in, get a little bit more. Try not to get blue in it because then it'll turn purple. Hold it up so it's easier. Oh, it's got blue in it. It's turning purple. Oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna add a bit pink. I'm just gonna take white to pink and make it really light. fix it. That's better. It, that one's gonna be a bit dark at the bottom, I guess. You can use a detail brush for this part. It probably would be better. It's just, it would take longer. I'm gonna just dip into some straight white on the very tip of the brush. Very tip. And as I go, it will. It'll end up mixing with pink on the brush. Just go and fix some of the lighter ones that are lighter at the bottom. coming super far into the yellow, just right on the edge of it, really, that's where they're at. some of the flowers it bothers me how it's like that so I'll just get a nice really light pink just that white pink on the brush fix it up a little bit this one should come down more all right and I think we're, I think we're pretty much done here.
Oops, you can't see it. Here. So I think we're pretty much done. I'm gonna paint the edges. Um, I'm probably just gonna use a light gray color. I'm not sure. Um, how I'm gonna paint the edges is I'm gonna take this piece, just some tape I found that's not very sticky. I think it's like medical tape, but painter's tape would be better. And I place it on the edges of it like this, just on the very edges of it so it doesn't get on the painting. And then I paint it. I'll have it like this so that way I can actually get the edges. And then I'll paint out whatever color and then I'll wait till it's dry and then I'll peel the tape up. So I'm gonna go paint the edges now. Alrighty, so here's the end product. I went ahead and painted the sides just a uh, light gray real quick. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and comment down below what painting you want to see next. I uh, hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!